Welcome back everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm back with more Metal Gear Solid 4. We're still doing pretty well in this game, I must admit. We didn't die at all when I felt like we were about to. <laughs> Yo, he's over here. <laughs> I injected you with back in the Middle East. They let me track your location. <laughs> Figures, the B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. You never heard of them? They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers, belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female? Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They're run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Dremen to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named, uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Ah, uh, old, huh? <laughs> Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. Damage their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. Damn. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is, 
Their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Four B&Bs have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also a laughing octopus, a master of mimicry, and a crying wolf. She rubs on four legs. And finally, the mistress of mind control, screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah, there used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound, you know. And they've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. <laughs> Driven. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Patriot. You could say Patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these Patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formed. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. Which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning. But now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. Hmm. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriot's AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nano machines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. 
Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. Mm. Mm. Alright then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Get your ass back inside. Now! <laughs> I have you. Well, that was interesting. What did you say? I love stuff like that in this game, though, so it's all good to me. Let's lay low for a second. Oh, there's a signal gauge there, okay. D <laughs> Stupid piece of crap. <laughs> well, I think we're healed up pretty good. Let me see something. Yeah, if I hit here with my oil drum, I would probably be okay. <laughs> cool little thing to keep in mind. The problem is if the oil drum was right in the middle of nowhere, then it probably would be less conspicuous. <laughs> like right in the middle of the frickin' forest, it probably wouldn't look very well. Yes. <coughs> Snake, can you hear me? This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no more. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matkapluku. Matkapluku? Big Mama. Hmm. We'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait. What about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose. I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Uh, 
That's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried he was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone. And Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it. To move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Snake. Is it just me, or does her recording sound weird there? And I don't mean, like, recording as, like, what you would think when I mean recording. Like, um... Like, it just seemed like the audio was all messed up for her. It might just be me. I might be... Uh... Hearing things. I don't know. Alright, so this looks like a enemy camp here. We got company. Good job, idiots. Why in the hell would you do that? Uh hold on a second. How much wood does it cost to unlock the Probably a good idea. Careful, guys. You hit. Ooh, there's a lot of them. seem to be working. <laughs>
Grubbin, do you have any kind of... Um, general purpose machine gun, atomic shotgun, grenade launcher... Oh, that might work. <laughs> but too bad I don't have enough to afford it. Uh.
Damn it to hell. That's not the correct time for that. Hold on a second. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode real quick, because I gotta take care of something, and I'll be right back. Till then, everyone. Bye.